Federation. You have the floor. The Federation is the official representative body of over one million dentists worldwide. We congratulate WHO for setting two oral health indicators in the WHO impact framework for measuring the GPW13 target on achieving universal health coverage. This is a tremendous step forward in recognizing that oral health is an integral part of general health and UHC. However, no budget has been allocated towards the two oral health indicators outlined in Annex 1. We therefore request the Secretariat to address this. Without a budget to support the monitoring of these indicators, we are extremely concerned that the, that the monitoring will not be effectively implemented. We welcome the Secretariat's recommendation for member states to monitor additional indicators. Specifically, we call for member states to WHO and member states in order to do this. FDI is working on a number of resources to bridge the oral health data gap, which member states can adapt to their country situation. FDI's Oral Health Observatory, OHO, has developed a mobile app that analyzes the oral health care needs of patients and dental practitioners at the national level. By answering a series of questions, the app allows patients and dentists to submit data about oral health status. Last year, national dental associations in 13 countries participated in the OHO, and we are currently collecting the data. Additionally, FDI is also finalizing a set of adult oral health measures co-developed with the International Consortium for Health Outcomes Measurement. We look forward to sharing these tools and data with member states and WHO in the coming months. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Ms. Collins. Um, second on my list is the Global Health Council. You have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. WHO has outlined a path toward triple billion targets in a bold transformation agenda, both of which require adequate resources across global programs. Therefore, Global Health Council, supported by the Frontline Health Workers Coalition, commends WHO's overall investment